In this Galco TV how-to video, we will be showing you how to connect the analog and digital inputs for start-stop and speed control on an ABB ACH 580 HVAC drive. First, we will wire digital input 1 or DI1 to 24 volts through a normally open contact. For demonstration purposes, we are using an external contact button. However, you can use a relay contact or anything that closes connection between two wires. Also, jumper terminals 11 to 12 for digital input common to plus 24 common. Connect one side of the button to terminal 10. Connect the other side of the button to terminal 13. Digital input 1 for start-stop function of the drive. This is a standard two-wire configuration. Next step is wiring the analog speed signal to serve as your speed command input that will come from a 0 to 10 volt control source. We will be using a process calibrator in this demonstration as the control source. Wire those in terminals 2 and 3. Terminal 2, analog input 1, is positive with respect to terminal 3, analog common. Parameter group 1217 and 1218 are analog input 1 min and max respectively, used for scaling the signal if necessary. Since the power wiring has already been completed, now you can energize the drive and wait for it to boot up. Close the digital input contact switch to start the drive. Now you can put some voltage to the analog input and you can see the motor will start to ramp up. Running at 1 volt, the motor is running at about 10% speed or 6 Hz of full speed 60 Hz. Running at 5 volts, it is now commanding a 30 Hz speed. Most HVAC drives ramp up slowly to full speed. It could take 30 to 60 seconds for it to go from zero to full speed depending on the Excel D-cell parameter settings. Parameter 2312 is Excel time 1 and 2313 is D-cell time 1. Using your analog control source, you can move up to 10 volts to ramp up to full speed. Once the control system establishes that it has enough speed, it will hold the signal and bring the fan to a speed that maintains supply through the application it is being used for. When the control wants to shut off, it commands a stop by simply opening the contact at digital input 1. There are three output relays for control system's status feedback. Most control systems will use at least two signals, usually those are run status and fault status. The control closes the digital input 1 start command input at the drive to start it. And when it recognizes the run contact has come back, it knows that it is running. The control system then puts out the speed signal to the drive, usually in a 4 to 20 milliamp or a 0 to 10 volt signal. In HVAC applications, this could be an air volume demand as part of a PID loop that the drive is a slave to. The fault status contact, RO3, has closed the normally open contact while it is energized and no faults exist. When the drive is shut off or if a fault occurs, the contact will open. The relay next to it is a run status, RO2, the normally open contact is closed, indicating the drive is in run mode and once it stops, it will open. The first contact, RO1, is default setup for damper control and may not be used in most applications. All three status relays are configured in menu group 10. With that, the analog input and first digital start-stop input should be properly connected and starting and stopping the drive. For more how-to videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to Galco TV so you can be notified when new videos are posted every week.